Hey makers, if you ever try to create an offset text in Cricut Design Space, it's currently not possible. So today I'm going to show you how to create an offset text in Canva and bring that in to Design Space so you can make your 3D text. I'm Yana with Makis. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing for more helpful tutorials for making cake toppers. Also, please take a look and join Maki's Makers Club on Facebook to get your 20% off code and other member perks. Okay, well, let's get started. I'm here in Canva, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find a template size that I need. In this case, I'm just going to use a standard uh, letter size. So we can do letterhead, a blank, just so we can start with a blank screen. Go ahead and choose the text tool. And you can go ahead and choose add a headline or any of the above. I'm going to type in a name just so, as an example. Let's try Ashley. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see better what I'm working on. And I'm going to make the text bigger so you can see it. For this example, I'm going to try a font called Joshiko. Oops, looks like Ashley is a little too long for this. There we go. So from here, I'm going to go to the effects panel and I'm going to choose Splice. In Splice, you see right now the, the look it created looks like outline with a shadow. We need to change that and just make it all one color. For this purpose, let's choose the color. Let's see, let's do it with dark blue. And to change the outline color, we can actually go right here to the text color and let's select the same color. Again, go back to the effects. So we won't have this kind of spaced out look. We need to put the offset to negative 45. Now it's all aligned. So here's the main part where you can start and make your offset for Cricut purposes to cut out this name Ashley and make the 3D text if you're going to be gluing it together. So let's go ahead and move it up here to be our very thickest layer. So in this case we're going to make thickness 100. So go ahead and copy this. You can go on the top and click to duplicate. Drag it under now all we want to do is make the thickness smaller. Let's try 50. Just to see the effect, you can change the color. We can play around and let's try light blue and match this light blue. Again, take, take this box and duplicate it. And now this doesn't need any effect. So we're going to choose none. And let's change the color to, let's change it to a light teal so we can see a variation. You don't need to do this, but let me show you just so you have an idea what just happened. I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to position middle vertically. So right now, let's see. As you can see, we created the outline. So now all of these three have the outline so we can cut it. But to make it work for Cricut, we'll need to bring it in in three separate elements as we had it originally. Um, it doesn't matter the order, but I'm going to put it from thickest to the thinnest. Again, it's up to you on the design you want to create. 
So we're, here we have thick, middle, and then the thickest, uh, the thinnest that's going to go on the very top. So from here, what you need to do is you're going to save this as a PNG. This very first one, PNG. And click transparent background, PNG only. And when you hit download, it's going to save your project to your desktop or wherever you usually have your project saved. Now I'm going to switch over to Cricut so we can continue with this project. From Cricut we're going to go ahead and upload upload our image. Now find where you have where you have your image saved. It's going to bring in three of these images on a transfer background as we specified. And because the colors don't really matter to us because we're going to use paper or we're going to use vinyl. In our case, we're going to use paper. So we can just hit simple and do continue. We have nothing to clean up because we brought in on a transparent background. So everything is clean already. Click continue. And we are going to use this to cut. So we're going to choose this. Again, the colors don't matter. That's why it's all one color. Hit save. Finally, we are going to insert our image. Let's make it smaller so you can see what I'm working with. Okay, so now to make it work for Cricut to cut it out as three separate layers. If we're doing different colors of paper, we're going to need to separate this out. And in order to do this, we need to cut each one out. So let's hit shape. Let's take our square. And what we're going to do is basically we're going to select each one and put a box over it so we can cut them out. Right here, let's duplicate it and make sure it doesn't overlap any other text. This one is not necessary, we need to do just the two. Now what we do is when we, we need to select one of these boxes, hold shift and select your layer with the text. So two of the layers are selected now. Hit slice what happened now is it sliced the gray one, so now we have two, even though we don't really need two, but we have two, we can delete that one. But now we can move this around. Same we're going to do with this layer, select that layer and select the text, and hit slice. And now we have this layer and this layer, so we have three layers as we did in Canva. So from here you can go ahead and choose whatever color you're going to use of your paper. Let's try again with the light blue, medium blue, and dark blue. Again so you can see, let's select all of them and let's do looks like the lightest layer is in the wrong spot. Here we go. So now we have the three colors that we did in Canva and we can cut it out on our machine as three different colors of paper and glue them together as we, as we like. And if you have any questions, join Maki's Makers Club on Facebook and post your questions there. I'll see you there. Talk to you soon. Bye.